Hello, I am Mabu and today I'm going to be explaining how I made these wonderful pretzel buns. They're so fluffy and warm and moist mm -mm 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 -mm. and they go great with hot dogs. <laughs> I started by grabbing a pan and I added one cup of milk and I also spilled milk oh well they say you shouldn't cry over spilled milk but I do wish I wouldn't be so messy in the kitchen ah, such is life <laughs> then I also added half a cup of water a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of honey oh my goodness there's only goodness in this recipe so far you know that's a sign of a good recipe don't you <laughs> now I brought the pan to medium heat and I let it reach a max of 110 Fahrenheit which is that perfect temperature for you to let the yeast grow later on you can feel with the back of your hand and you know it's warm and also you would feel comfortable bathing a baby in this kind of temperature so just to give you an idea in case you do not have a thermometer and then I put this mixture into my mixing bowl and I also added a whole package of dry yeast now here I want to make a little distinction in case you buy yeast like I do by pounds <laughs> it's around 8 grams alright yeah uh, a package of active dry yeast is about 8 grams now you leave this mixture growing and developing for around 10 to 15 minutes meanwhile you grab a pan add 2 tablespoons of butter and two teeth of garlic chopped and you're going to put on medium heat as well and as soon as you feel the aroma coming from the garlic and obviously um, the butter has also melted you may as well turn it off and set it aside reserve I love it I love it we didn't even start baking and my house is already like so fragrant <laughs> that's the good part about cooking at home don't you think like the whole house smells great and you haven't even started the meal yet mm -mm -mm. sometimes I pick restaurants just by their smell <laughs> Do you do that? If you do, leave it in the comments below. In any case, then I set it aside, the butter with garlic as well. And now I'm preparing the dry parts of the bread, which constitute are, are, uh, are constituted, which are constituted by three cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of bread flour now i have done this bread before with just all-purpose flour if you do not have bread flour you might as well use four cups of the all-purpose flour but do not let that stop you from doing this recipe all right great so after you mix the flowers if you had to mix them you're going to add these four cups of flour into the sponge with the yeast growing which is the milk honey and etc etc and you're also going to add the butter with the fragrant garlic and 
and now we're gonna bring the hook and you set it into medium speed and it will take around six minutes for the dough to start to pull away from the sides and as soon as it does completely it's done It doesn't take very long at all. And in the end, you're going to get this beautiful dough. So elastic, so nice. I think you can see it in the video. I just stretch. <laughs> yes. Then I spread some flour on the surface before I put the dough there and I try to make a round shape to the best of my abilities and then I also divided the dough into eight parts so this is going to yield eight little pretzel buns After I divided, I shaped each little piece into a little ball, as you can see there in the video. And after I've done that, I also let them grow for around 30 minutes. Somewhere dark more humid because that's what yeast likes and then after 30 minutes they grown well, not quite a bit but they grown somewhat and now I'm pushing them against the surface and then after they're flat I just roll them one more time I grab one of the grow the ones that have grown after 30 minutes squeeze them against the surface make them flat and then roll and that's how you make a little pretzel now I'm making a really superficial cuts right now you don't even have to do them right now but I'm just used to doing it after I shape them so that's what I did but it's better to do maybe even at a later time after the cattling and after you have shaped your little pretzel buns you're going to put eight cups of water and of water and half a cup of baking soda to boil and as soon as it starts boiling you're going to add the pretzel buns there 30 seconds for each side then you toss them another 30 seconds for the other side and then you may remove them and place them in your baking sheet I think this is the biggest distinction between pretzel and other breads, right? The process of kettling, which also happens uh, with bagels, but with bagels it's like water and honey usually, I, that, at least that's how I make it. I don't know if you make bagels and etc, but um, in many case. And after you have done all your eight little pretzel buns, you're going to crack an egg remove the yolk and then you're gonna beat the yolk and you're gonna spread this yolk on all of the eight buns it's going to make them get really dark like a pretzel but they're gonna be so fluffy in the inside so it's kind of like it's dark but it's fluffy so it's right <laughs> it's just right in any case, after you put the yolk all over them, you're also going to spread coarse sea salt 
in now is the real time that you actually like make the little superficial cuts on the breads before you add them to the oven which is by the way preheated at 425 Fahrenheit <laughs> and after ah oh, they look so beautiful I'm sorry in any case after 10 to 13 minutes they're looking great <laughs> so dark so fluffy so yummy oh i can't wait to make this recipe again already because honestly they do not last very long it won't last very long in your house as well <laughs> i hope you like this recipe as much as i do and if you do give it a thumbs up like share and i'll see you next time in the kitchen bye <laughs>